a little over. swarm action here. They're coming over this way. They're coming this way, dude. That's okay. Well, I know, but we need to move. Maybe. Well, I don't want them to swarm on here. <laughs> that would be the best possible outcome. Yes. Matt has been swarmed by bees. No, 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 no. You abandoned the golf cart. Uh, They're going back up again. Well, they're just right there. I bet they're going into this fucking pine tree over here in Roger's yard. Damn it. They are. These freaking bees, I swear. Hold on. Yeah, they're moving that way. Yeah, they totally told your uh, box to... That's okay. If they don't go to this pine tree, the odds of us getting you know, them being lower are a lot higher. And there's some thunder. Yeah, that, that little storm is uh, starting to... They're definitely going to this pine tree. Yeah, they're going to the pine tree. I don't know which one. No, no, it's this tree. No, which lamb, my man? Oh, yeah. Um... Well, the good news is it's probably one of the lower ones so far. There's a hole there where a tree used to be. Um, hard to tell. Hard to tell. Bees on the move. They are, aren't they? <laughs> this is where we find out they're headed towards that big hole in the chimney. <laughs> that would be hilarious. That would not be funny at all. Yeah, it would. Not to you. Yeah, they're coming over here. Well, they're just kind of in the middle. Well, he said before he doesn't care as long as you stump grind it flat so that he can go over it with a lawnmower. Yeah. All right, so they went around the pine tree. They did. And they're coming over here. But they're not coming down. Pine tree? Pine tree, so. so what's probably about to happen is now that they came out of the top of that one, they came all the way over here. They're about to land in this guy. They might. Don't be a jerk, land low. Actually, well, no, I can't get it over here, I don't think. I have a feeling they are going to be in this, this fucking popcorn tree. The swarm that has vexed me now for three days. I'm trying to figure out where they're landing. I mean, they're all up on the tree, but it's going to be one of these. It's probably going to be right around here. The good news is this is actually pretty low. Yeah. Yep, there they are. They're starting to ball up on it. Yep, right there. That's where they're going. Okay. Well, well hadn't been that easy yet. They're falling. That's where they're going to go. Oh, they keep falling. That's hilarious. Yeah, they'll they'll get it figured out. Hmm. See where these ladies go. 
queen and a fair amount of bees are already in that box. She's a mated queen. I know this because she's got a dot on the back. One of my dots. So we're uh, trying to figure out, because I think they're trying to figure out where she's at too. We just had a little bit of a storm blow through right in the middle of all this. So we're going to see what the, what they do. There may be another queen in this, in this bunch. This is a very large swarm. And I believe it comprised several hives that, that were getting overrun by hive beetles. So. Oh, they're all swarming now. Yeah, we got. They they did. I walked in here. I'm like, I hear noise. Do we need? To, and they're all in the air. Do we need to fan? All right. Here's Mr. Howard. Sorry, sideways potato. Here's Mr. Howard. You can see him there. Pulling down a swarm with a queen clipped in a bucket. Yeah, he's cheating. All right. It's hard to see the screen to make sure I'm getting, there we go, I'm zooming in, see all the little buggers? Now you can see on the pole, zoom in. Yeah, look at that. see where they were up there yep they are I think I think you're gonna catch them now Literally. yeah yeah like straight up <laughs> Yeah, so they still think the queen's in there. Okay. And there could be another queen somewhere. We'll find out in a minute. Yep. I'm pretty sure there's not another queen in the box, though. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, I was gonna say keep bringing them down. That way you'll get them to. Yeah, you don't want to drop it. Well, mainly what I'm trying to do is brace the pole against the ground. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, no, there. Girl, don't, don't. Uh, uh. Probably over there getting sweat, man. I mean, I got. Yeah. Right now. Back up a little bit. The well, last time I got stung, I couldn't walk, so. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, just, I think you just want to bring them down until you can basically set them on top of the, uh, the board. Yeah. What's in the bucket? What's in the bucket? Way down there at the bottom. You'll probably make it out every once in a while. There's a queen clip with a queen in it. Box, man. What's in the box, man? It needs to light up like gold, like in Pulp Fiction. Oh, I was talking about seven. Oh, I, oh, I haven't seen seven. You know, at the end? I haven't seen it. Oh, you need to watch seven. Yeah. There's some down in there. There were more down in there. They're, they're hanging out. They're definitely more interested in the bucket right now because the queen's in the bucket. I'm trying to get them to kind of settle down before I dump them again. These girls have been all over. They were uh, in the popcorn tree over there, in the ash tree. And they moved to the top of that pine tree that you can't even hardly see. That's what the scissor lift over there is for. Um, and uh, when we give it up, and put a bait hive up there on the top of the scissor lift, left it up there. Uh, we're headed inside to take a break and thought, well, well you know, let me take one, one quick look back there and they were all up above the trees, all up in the air. And 
We followed them, thought they were going to go into this pine tree. They didn't. They flew over here, and then they ended up in this popcorn tree, and I was able, able to snag the queen on uh, a bucket scoop, the second bucket scoop, and uh, got her in a clip. And shortly after that, they decided they uh, they wanted to find out where the queen was, and so we put her back in the bucket after they didn't find the hive, and uh, stuck it up in the air and did a little uh, fishing Calvin and Hobbes style. I don't know that this counts as an epilogue yet, but uh, half of Half of this swarm went, went in the box a second ago. I wish I'd set up my camera because it was pretty cool. The other half, I, I knocked down in the bottom of the bucket, and there was a half of a five-gallon bucket of bees after shaking at least half of the weight into this box. And now you can kind of see. They, they're, oh, that, that'll make them mad. Maybe. Hopefully not. Um, they haven't stung me yet. i got a veil on so they don't get stuck in my hair. But, I mean, you can see it's pretty... Pretty healthy, pretty healthy numbers here. I'm uh, probably gonna have to come back in and put 10 more frames in this the second deep because you know they got enough to do it. They got enough to pull the weight. So, like I said, in, or like I said earlier, another video or however I ended up end up divvying this up. I believe this is multiple hives uh, that swarmed. I had several hives in close proximity to each other that all kind of got overrun by hive beetles at, at around the same time based on the uh, propagation of the hive beetles and uh, one hive swarmed late Friday and it wasn't too bad and then I think that kicked off the others I think they decided that they uh they didn't want to tolerate that mess anymore either, so they all bailed out. Only one queen. I found two virgin queens. I got one, one Friday morning, and then I got one this morning from another box that was uh, starting to succumb as well. It had been slime, but there weren't any larvae yet. Um, they're very, very, very young hive beetle larvae, and so they hadn't left yet. So uh, they have been rehived with all new frames and a new box and. I'm gonna have to feed them and you know it's the life of a beekeeper it's been a busy year for me I haven't had as much time to devote to my girls as I'd like but you know they uh, they took it out of me today and yesterday and Friday to a certain extent and ran me all over the yard like to do and so far though I don't think they've I think I got stung once yesterday when I cut a limb and it swung in towards me and this is kind of happenstance but uh, I'm standing right over this thing right now like with, with nothing and uh, they're sucking sweat off of me but they have definitely calmed down good deal good deal yeehaw